Hello! Right, I'm going to show you how you can create a clickable PDF table of contents using Microsoft Word. So number one, if you're not sure how to create a table of contents, check out my video on how to create or how to insert and format a table of contents in Microsoft Word. Really good. That will set you up to get you to this point here. So at this point, when you go to insert your table of contents, what I want you to do is come with me to the References tab, over to the Table of Contents, and down to Custom Table of Contents at the bottom here. Now from here, you'll decide on which levels of your headings you want to have in your Table of Contents here. Again, reference my video on how to insert and format a Table of Contents in Microsoft Word. That will get you to this point here. Really important that you leave the check mark against use hyperlinks instead of page numbers in here. Once you've done that and you've generated your table of contents, yay, fantastic. Now at this point, what you need to do is you need to go to save as. Now um, you can use your F12 key, function key 12 if you want to, to go to save as or file and then you can go to save as here. And what I would suggest you do from here is go to more options. And both of those options will open this dialog box. Now, at this point, we're going to change this to PDF. So you're going to change it and save it as a PDF. Click on to options down here. And what you want to do is make sure you have create bookmarks using headings. A table of contents is generated using your heading styles out of the template or out of the, um, the document. If you've used this option to generate your table of contents, when you now generate your table of contents in your PDF, you'll see what happens. We're going to click on OK and save. And here's our PDF. OK, so making my way down to the table of contents, you will now see that each one of the headings in your table of contents is clickable. So if I now wanted to go to accountability on page two, I can click onto this and it will take me through to accountability. Additionally, because you used your heading styles, you can now click over here onto the contents and you're going to see you have your table of contents right here as well. So good, right? So at any time, you can easily use these options to bounce around the document if you want to. Whoopsie, I'll just go back here and it'll take me to those points in the document. Or if you want to, you can go back to the table of contents up the very top here. Of course, this one over here is really good because you don't have to keep on going back to the front of the document to do this. You can just click it and it'll take you straight to that point in the document. I hope you found this really, really helpful. Remember, if you're not too sure about generating a table of contents, check out the link. There'll be a link somewhere around this page where you can go and look for this exact document. You can download it as a uh, practice file and you can follow along learning how to do a table of contents and then how to get the table of contents to be a PDF that's got the clickable links in it. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. For videos on related topics, please visit my channel. For links to my courses or my weekly tips, check the description box below.